tutorial but more well kind of a tutorial but more of just a car designs video well my last one got so many views and I've improved a lot and I really want to share my skills with you guys so that you can improve as well in Rocket League so now the first thing I'm gonna say is I'm not the highest rank okay um, I've gone back down to gold 3 in 1v1, 3v3 I don't really play, but that's kind of my 2v2, I'm part of 1 in 2v2s at the moment, so just to say that I'm plat in the game, which shows that I have a lot of mechanical skill, I got to plat last season um, as well. So. Now, obviously I'm on PlayStation, I cannot use custom maps, but the Core 707 out of map, um, I'll show you the code, it should just be on your screen now, but that's the code to this map, and it's basically a custom Rocket League map. See, you come out with the Core, well, 707 bit, and you can just manoeuvre around this now there's no real course here you just kind of got to do what you want to do now you can go through the objects but I just try and maneuver my way without going through them maybe going for some tight like turns and stuff so you can go through the objects like that kind of messed up there and so yeah this is really good for your aerial car control getting your muscle memory up on how you turn using your arrow and all that good stuff make up your own course as you're doing this map just remember to maybe add some spins in that's how you're going to get most efficient at learning how to do the full spin aerial now i'm going to teach you how to do this now the first bit is going to be the setup now i'm not going to hit the ball after this it's just so i can go on ball cam it doesn't mess up my camera settings so you basically the first setup is like that now all you have to do here you don't have to do all them fancy spins as long as you just jump up like that right so all you gotta do is just jump up like that like this jump up get the reset go for it now the second way to do this i'm double jumping a lot today is to just drive up with the ball and then do the ceiling shot just like that now i'm going to teach you how to do it so with a ceiling shot you kind of want to be more sideways okay you want to be more like here-ish so what you do is you go up because if you're not sideways then it's just you're gonna have no chance to do the ceiling shot but anyway once you're sideways you just want to hit it now it's a bit more advanced as it you think because it just comes with practice and skill but as long as you just do that and then I don't know what is wrong with my ceiling shots today, but I just can't hit them. But more of an angle like this. So when you come off the ceiling, you're like right here, ready to just cover long career in. Hope you enjoyed. Remember to like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed this video. And bye for now. See you guys in the next one.